You've asked for a social media calendar that was simple to follow and tells you exactly what to post every day. So I create it for you and sharing it with you today. My name is Alicia Crostell. And if you're all about simplifying your real estate business, building it around your strengths and still having an amazing net life, make sure you hit subscribe and we'll get started. By the end of this video, you're going to have exactly what to post five days a week for the complete month with Canva links to exactly the templates that I've used. And you could just plug in your information and go. And it's all based around a method that I use and coach and have helped many agents do that focuses on doing posts that have evidence of success to prove that you are amazing realtor and you know what you're talking about. And then connection posts, which connects you as a human to the other people. I talked more about that strategy in the last video I made. And at the end, I'm going to show you how to set your posts on the calendar so they automatically post for you whether you're at a computer or not. So let's first look at the calendar and then we'll go through and I'll show you the templates and how to use them. Here's the monthly calendar. I've set themes for each day to just keep it super simple. You can change that at any time, but if you're just looking for a simplified method, here you go. You also don't have to do all five days. You can pick and choose what days you want to follow here. Mondays are in action. That's you doing real estate doing something with real estate, even if it's you sitting at a computer watching this video so you can tell people that you're bettering your marketing expertise. Testimonial and tips, I'm gonna show you how you can take any testimonial and you can do a bunch at once so they're all ready to go. And you can take, instead of doing a testimonial, a tip if you don't have as many testimonials as you want. Wednesdays is house specific. You're gonna post something that involves a house, whether that's you doing a tour of a house, quick tour, or posting something where you see a cute staging item or noticing something about a house, it's gonna have something to do with an actual home. Questions and stats for Thursday. This is when you're gonna ask a question or show a stat that has something to do with your hyper local market. And that's really important that it's your hyper local market because you wanna give them information that they can't get anywhere else. They don't want statewide, they don't want nationwide information. I'll show you how to work that. Friday is just you doing life. Simply you doing whatever you're doing in life, going to a kid's sporting event, you having a sporting event, a picture or text of you hearing a song on the radio, simply just that human connection stuff going on so they can see who you are. Pause it, screenshot it, take notes. Underneath this video is going to be links to Canva templates to show you on the Tuesdays and Thursdays how to do those items, exactly what the posts are. And I'm going to walk you through them here too, so you can see what I'm talking about. If you want more templates that I share, make sure you join the Content is Leverage group on Facebook. Just search up Content is Leverage and I help people. I share a lot of the posts that I do and you can just steal my ideas and take them. Monday's your inaction day. So you're coming up with your own pictures of whatever's happening that day, but you have examples in there to pull from. Tuesdays is for tips and testimonials. And when you click the link below for these templates, you're going to see these come up and I'm going to show you exactly how to change it from a tip or a testimonial at any time. So here are the templates and you can see this is a testimonial I've put in. It has a picture, but it doesn't have to. You put you can put your own picture in there and I put the testimonial below. At any time, you can change this from testimonial and just put Tuesday tip or whatever day you end up doing it and make it make a tip about staging, getting your house ready, anything you want. It kind of has the same format. It makes it very simple for you. But if you have 10, 20 testimonials, I would go through and pick a style you like and do as many as possible so you can just make it simple for you. You have plenty to choose from and you can change anything. Even this one, to take away the stars and you can make your tip. And these can generally fit the format of a story or you could crop them into a square. Most of them just lend to being a square if you did it as a, um, an Instagram post or a Facebook post. If you need a little help with Canva, I have a Canva tutorial specific for realtors in the library, the YouTube library. If you don't have Canva or use another design platform, great, use the different design platform. And also you can use any of these templates as an idea and inspiration and just create them right in your Facebook or Instagram stories because it allows you to put a picture and then your content. So any of these, if you wanna make a post, you just take your picture and then you type the content either as a post or a story. Wednesdays is doing a video or a photo post of a, something to do with a house. So I told you before, you can use pictures or any kind of post Post. I think the most effective Wednesday post would be you videoing a house that you have listed or one that you have permission to shoot. And it's just a five to 10 second clip of parts of the house. You don't have to go through and do the tour and cut and edit them all together. So it'd be the video. And then this is what you can get. 
for 209,000 in Perry Hall. This is for 500,000. This is what you get in Perry Hall, Maryland. And you have that short clip. It is giving you an evidence of success and giving them very local information or a video detail of a house that shows something for staging that you thought was really great. Just a quick video that counts as video. Still, you can be in it, which would be amazing, but you don't have to be. Now you're on to Thursdays, which are your stats or questions. And I have the templates here. When you click, this is what's gonna show up and you can edit the colors. You can change anything that you like. I highly suggest if you do something like this, these are the very basic MLS information every agent has access to. Just make them local. Like I did a zip code here. I would do a zip code or a subdivision and then you can just put active listings, pending, sold, new listings. And you can change any category in here or you can change the numbers, obviously. Your logo is down here and you wanna change your information. You can change any of the colors, change the town and zip code. That's hyper-local information. And if that's all you did, you didn't get any more specific or creative than that, that is a highly valuable post because it's so hyper-local. So I give you a couple versions here. This one has a graphic background with a chevron and this one has a house behind it. You can take any of these. This has a photo. You don't have to use the photo if you don't want to, but I wanted to give you an option with that. This is just a very basic one where you can change any of the stats into a question. So in my previous videos, I've mentioned, ask a question that gets them to have an answer about hyper local things. So this one is how many homes with an acre plus were listed in Baltimore County last week? You post that in your stories or on your Facebook page and you wait for the answers. Then once you get the answers, you can post later what the answers were and what the true real answer was. If you do this in stories, you can do it as a poll and it'll automatically calculate that for you. And then you can take a screenshot and put it back up later of the results. Here's another example of me showing you how to do a question and then just turning it into a stat. Either way you wanna do it. This is how many waterfront homes under 900,000 were listed in October, two, five, or 12. So you're asking them to comment and connect with you and you're getting gonna get an answer. You can also put it into a statement. You know the answer. Five waterfront homes under 900,000 were listed in Baltimore County in October. I put my picture in here. You could easily take the picture out if you didn't want to and just adjust it a little bit, change your colors and this your logo and information go down here. Again, with this, you can do it as a story. If you do not use Canva, just go into story and put a picture in there and type this into stories. It will be effective. And then I added a couple at the bottom that you could use if you just wanted something to post and you didn't have any time to create a stat, just a little bit of information to get some engagement. This is actually a really effective post that you could just have in the can for like before it gets ready to storm or if you see a weather report where it's gonna be bad rain, you post this, you see a sold sign, I see downspouts properly installed. Then you can type in there and tell people, hey, remember to pull your downspouts away, extend them out because it is like the number one reason we see water in basements, it happens all the time. And it's kind of a fun way to put the sold sign, like you're putting in a house picture, sold, you know what you're doing. It's getting that evidence of success that you are thinking beyond the regular realtor. Like you're down to the downspouts. This girl knows the downspouts is a problem for the basement. So if you get in a pinch, just share one that's already 100% completed for you. You don't need to put my logo on there. You could do whatever you want with it. Now we're on to Friday, which is literally doing you. Whatever is in your life, it could literally be, see the pictures, the flowers behind me. I could take a picture of the flowers and say, thanks to my hubby for the nice flowers. What a nice surprise on a really cold day. Anything you want, right? A picture of my kid's flamingo in the background. Look what Zoe's artwork did today. Me going to do something at a sporting game. Me after the gym with my face red. Anything that connects you is like, oh, you're a real life human. And pulls out people who have similar connections to you. Don't overlook that piece, right? The connection piece of all of this posting, connection and evidence of success, the connection part is what pulls people to you, repels and attracts people, right? They'll get a feel for whether they really don't like you, which is great because you don't want to work with them. Or like, yes, they get me. They are dealing with the same stuff that I am. So you're just you is really important. I promise to show you how to schedule these posts so they can automatically upload to your social media accounts. So that's what we're going to do. In Canva, you're going to have this option over here that says content planner. It's about a halfway down the page on the left. Hit content planner and on the calendar, you're going to see your dates. Pick the date that you want to post whatever post you just created and hit the plus sign. Pick whatever post you want to have uploaded and it's going to ask you for your channel the channel you want to. So in LinkedIn, Pinterest, if you have multiple accounts, select your channel and get it ready. And then you can either save the draft 
or you can schedule it to post and you can write the caption right on there. So it's all set and ready and can automatically do that. I highly suggest that specifically for the testimonial tips and your questions and stats, anything that's static that you can put out and do a couple at one time is gonna save you so much time. When you do that, I wanna make sure you know to hit file and then make a copy. And if you're gonna post one particular thing, make sure you delete the additional pages. You just go, you just want this one post, otherwise it's gonna post all of them. You wanna make a copy and then delete all the excess pages that you don't wanna use and title it what you want. Does that make posting seem a little simpler to you? If so, make sure you put simple down in the comments. And remember to go to the content is leverage group if you need any extended help with that. I put information in there all the time and hit the subscribe button so you can get more information like this to help you build your business around your strengths.